Gamers, Calabai here with another ESO PvP build. With the new updated servers and the White Strikes Mayhem events fast approaching, more and more players are getting involved in PvP. So today I'm bringing you a Magicka Sorcerer for beginners. It's easy to put together and fun to play and it's great for both Cyrodiil and Battlegrounds. This build is perfect for those who are new to PvP or have never played a Magicka Sorcerer before. He uses strong shields for defense and has huge burst damage at range. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, then be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So without further ado, let's get into it! Okay, here we are with a Magicka Sorcerer. Let's buff up, have a look and see what stats we can get. Um, we have a huge Magicka pool that helps us with our shields, almost 40k, uh, almost 27k health, which isn't too bad, uh, but really nice when we got our shields, and uh, almost 17k stamina. Recoveries can go way higher because of our sets, but we'll get into that in a minute. Um, 4k weapon damage, crit isn't great, but that's not too bad because we have insane burst, and uh, some really good penetration at 8k as well, and some nice resistances too. So we've got 64 points into Magicka, because the more Magicka you have, the bigger your shields are, so that's really nice. We are a Breton, they give us some really good racial passives, uh, so we get Max Magicka with Breton, we get Spell Resist and Magicka Recovery, and reduce the cost of our Magicka skills as well, so Breton's a really good choice. Um, we are using... I am using the Lord Munda Stone, I don't recommend this though. Um, I recommend going with the Mage for I think it's the mage for extra magicka just so your shields are better I'm just a really bad player and I kept on getting caught with my shields down so I needed a bit of extra you know I needed to be able to tell take a bit more damage so I can get my shields up but I'm a bad player you're a better player than me so I would go for max magicka or maybe recoveries if you need it but I don't think you will and uh, the food we're using is bewitched sugar skulls uh, these increase our health uh, stamina and magicka uh, and a health recovery, but that's not too important in PvP, um, so we get nice overall stats. Okay, so moving into the gear, so this is a really nice, it's a really nice setup for if you're a beginner at Magicka Sork, like I am. Um, the first set we're using is Crafty Alfik. As you can see, this is great for Magicka Sork because it just adds maximum Magicka across the board. This is a really easy set to get, it's an overland set from elsewhere, you can probably buy it from traders, it's not too bad. Um, so we have this on five body pieces, we have it on the chest, belt, feet, legs and hands. And it's a light set so we have the five light there. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to get our maximum magicka as high as possible because your shields are your main defense uh, and they scale off your max magicka so it's nice to have a nice magicka pool. Paired with that on the back bar, we'll go for the back bar first, we have Wretched Vitality. Um, this adds Magicka Recovery, Stam Recovery, uh, damage, and then while in combat, applying a major buff or debuff to a target grants 260 Magicka and Stamina Recovery for 15 seconds. And then while in combat, applying a minor buff or debuff to a target grants 130 Magicka or Stamina Recovery. So both of these stack. Um, and we have this only on the back bar, so what we do is we switch to the back bar, apply a major buff, apply a minor buff, and then we just get, you know, 390 magic and stamina on top of everything, and then we can switch bars and it will still apply. Um, so we have this on a back bar resto staff. So two pieces on the staff, and then we have a ring. Uh, my god, mine's still blue, I didn't realize that. Uh, and then we have it on the helm and shoulders, so we have a medium shoulder and a heavy helm. Um, so that's five piece crafty on the body and then five piece on the back bar with wretched vitality. And I've decided to go with three piece willpower as well. So we have a front bar inferno staff willpower which adds magicka and damage. Uh, we've gone for the sharpen trait for some extra penetration. So we just have this on the inferno staff and one piece willpower necklace so that maxes that out and then that means we can use the mark in ring of majesty which if you don't know what this does it's a really cool mythic it adds 100 weapon and spell damage and 1100 armor 
for every set you're wearing at least three pieces or more of. And because we have the Willpower, the Crafty Alfique, and the Wretched Vitality, uh, we get the maximum bonus from this. So we get an extra 300 weapon of spell damage and 3000 armor. Uh, when we switch to the back bar, we lose the Willpower because we're not doing the damage. So it still means we only get, we only get two lots of the buff. But when we're on the front bar, because we've got three piece Willpower, five piece Crafty, and then we still got the three piece Wretched when we're on the front bar, um, we get the maximum buff. So yeah, because of this, we get a huge we get a huge amount of armor, which is good for when our shields do drop, um, and a huge amount of damage as well. So yeah, three piece willpower, five piece crafty alfik, the marking, and then wretched vitality on the back bar. So yeah, we're running five light, one medium, and one heavy. Uh, in terms of trait, I've gone for mostly divines. I don't think you need any impen because, again, you have the shields. I've gone for divines, but I've heard you should probably go for well fitted. Um, you get some really good survivability on a magsorg if you can dodge roll a lot, as well as being able to streak away from people and getting your shields up uh, because you're not really using your stamina pool for anything else other than break free and sprint. So, um, well fitted is is might be a good choice as well um, but i've got two infused and then mostly just four divines and one well feared and then on the jewelry we have an infused magical recovery on the necklace we have arcane damage on the ring and then infused damage on the marking ring um yeah because we got wretched vitality our recoveries are more than good enough you could probably switch this magic recovery to a damage as well if you wanted um that's up to you though you can play around uh, and then we have a powered back bar for the resto stuff as well just for the extra heals uh so that's it for the gear in terms of skills on the front bar first off uh main sork skill crystal fragments uh conjure dark crystals to bombard the enemy dealing magic damage uh, a huge amount of magic damage. Your next non-ultimate ability cast within 3 seconds costs 10% less, so that's really nice. Uh, the main thing you want to do with this though is the next part. When you when slotted, casting a health, magical or stamina ability has a 33% chance of causing your next crystal frag to be instant and deal 66% more damage. Um, so you pretty much don't want to be spamming this, you only want to throw it when it's procced because um, it does a huge amount of damage and is instant and costs less. So the way to proc it is, I think you have to be in combat. So you can just use any other skill and when you proc it, you'll hear a noise and the icon will turn pink, just like that. And then when you throw it, it does a huge amount of damage. And that, so that's pretty much, you wanna use the your other skills first um, and proc this, uh, you need to listen out for the audio cue that way you don't have to keep glancing at your skill bar to see if the skill's gone pink uh, but once you get the hang of it it's really nice but yeah this is a pretty must have on a mag sock um, we've gone for the destruction staff skill crushing shock focus all the elemental energies with your staff and blast an enemy for flame damage frost damage and shock damage enemies hit while casting are interrupted so so yeah this is our main spammable this is what we use a lot just to proc our crystal frag it's got huge 28 range, 28 meter range as well. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. Um, Streak, this is a really nice skill that does shock damage. It stuns people, but we also use it to as our escape skill as well. Um, I'm sure you know what this looks like by now, but you just zap through the air. Um, so you can stun people with it and you can use it to you know run away, get some distance and get some line of sight from, your, from the enemy. So that's really nice to have. Um, this is our Execute, Ender's Fury. Cool down a lightning strike, dealing shock damage. If an enemy falls to or below 20% health within 4 seconds of being struck, an explosion deals an additional 12,000 shock damage to them and shock damage to nearby enemies as well. And if they're killed within 5 seconds of being hit, you restore a huge amount of magicka. So this is really nice because you can, you can, proc, you can put it on your opponent before you get them down to execute range um, so what I like to do is cast my I'm using the meteor ultimate cast my ultimate hit this stun them and then get them down to below 20% health and then it will pop um, so that's really nice and then we have dampen magic this is the light armor skill 
this just gives you a huge damage shield so you can take damage so this is what's going to keep you alive i have it on the front bar so you don't get stuck trying to bar swap before you before you can apply it um, and then each piece of light armor one increases the amount of damage absorbed by five percent and we've got five pieces of light so it's a huge amount of uh huge amount of damage absorption there and then we're going shooting star cool down a comet dealing a huge amount of flame damage knocks people down stuns them does aoe after um i love this skill just because you know there's a little bit of time between when you cast it and when it hits so then the main way you want to do this is you want to cast it and then streak through people um, and then it will stun them so it's a guaranteed hit. Um, just got to make sure they're not CC immune before you do that and then you can hit them with the execute or if you've got a proc crystal frag as well. Um, so it's a huge amount of burst damage that is pretty much unavoidable. Okay then moving on to the back bar. We've got Boundless Storm. This is what's giving you your resistances, your major resolve. Um, and you also get major expedition, so you can move really quickly with this as well. So with the extra movement speed and the streaks, you can move around quite nicely. It does a little bit of damage as well, but that's not what, you, what we use it for. Um, crit Surge, this is giving you your major brutality, increasing your weapon and spell damage by 20%. And every time you do crit damage, you get extra health, or you get health back, so that's really nice. Um, Dark Conversion, this is a bit of a must-have. Uh, bargain with Darkness to restore health and magicka instantly and an additional magicka over 20 seconds. So if you find out you're low on magicka and you've got plenty of stamina left, you just start procking this and you get all your stats back. Um, because you know, you can get carried away by using your shields and stuff, all your magicka runs out, and then you just dark exchange and get it all back. You can be interrupted though with this skill. So the best thing to do is usually streak behind something so they can't target you and then do a couple before you jump out. Um, I wouldn't spam it too much, but it's a uh, very nice sustain tool and a good heal as well. Um, and then we're using Resolving Vigor. This gives us a huge heal over time and then gives us minor resolve as well. Um, so there, yeah, this is really nice. You get both your shields up, pop this, and you're back up to full health before your shields go down. It's really good. And then Harden Ward, this is our second shield, gives us a huge damage shield for six seconds and it scales off your max health or magicka um, because we've got a huge magicka pool it's really nice so if we pop them both um, shields aren't as effective in pvp but as you can see you get you get a huge amount of damage absorption and then i've gone for suppression field on the back bar just in case those big keep fights you know you need to throw a negate in there um, that's really nice to have uh, enemies in the globe are stunned and they can't use magicka skills um, so that's really good um, when I was talking about the gear, we were talking about Wretched Vitality. You need to apply a major buff or debuff to a target and a minor buff or debuff to a target. The good thing is, the target can be you. So what we do is you just use Boundless Storm, which gives you major resolve, and Resolve and Vigor, which gives you minor resolve, and then that procs both parts of the Wretched Vitality, so you get the full 390 recovery. Um, you do have to be in combat when you do this though, so you know, you just throw out a light attack with the resto staff, proc this, proc this, and then we've got a huge amount of recovery. Beautiful. So yeah, that's the skills. Um, yeah, all you need to do pretty much is get your buffs up, Make sure you keep your Wretched Vitality proc, make sure you keep your shields up, because once your shields drop, you're, you know, you're a bit vulnerable. You do have nice spell resistance, but but yeah, then you just pretty much want to keep your range. Uh, Inferno Staff has a huge range, um, especially against melee builds. You know, when they have to get in close, this, this kind of build is so strong, because, you know, they're half dead and need to heal by the time they've closed the gap. So uh, it's really nice, really satisfying. Okay, and the last thing we really need to talk about is champ points. Uh, green tree is pretty normal, just got to make sure you get break full. And then uh, a couple of these are quite nice to have, you know, like Steed's Blessing out of combat movement speed. Um, and I've gone with Gifted Rider to increase your amount speed as well if you're running between Cyrodiil keeps. Okay, so in the blue tree, I've gone for Master of Arms, increasing your damage done with direct damage attacks. So that's a lot of what we got. Uh, increase by a total of 6%. Ironclad, reducing the damage taken by 6%. That's nice to have. Dualist Rebuff, uh, reduce damage taken by single target attacks by 6%. 
Um, got a lot of damage reduction here. And Deadly Aim, increase your damage done with single target attacks by 3%. So, yeah. Pretty pretty standard, nothing crazy in there. Um, in the Retreat, we've gone Balanced Vitality for the extra health. Um, keep us alive. Uh, celerity for the extra movement speed. Movement is king in PvP. If you can't move around, you're, you know, you're a sitting duck. Uh, Bastion, increase the effectiveness of your damage shield and damage against shielded enemies by 3%. So an extra 15% damage shield, that's really nice. And Fortify, just for a little bit of extra armor. I might change this one, but it seems to be helping me out at the moment. So yeah, you go, there's the build. Um, it's super fun to play, say I'm, it, this isn't a pet sorg, I've gone with something that doesn't really use pets, um, but it's real good, and as you can see, you can hit super hard, do a huge amount of damage, uh, you know, proc your meter on someone, streak through them, and everyone dies. So there you go, thanks for watching everyone. And that's the build, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy PvPing on this Magicka Sorcerer. I've recently been getting into the class myself and I'm excited to try a few different things. For example, I wanted to try another Sork build using pets. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button and check out some other builds on the channel. Thanks everyone for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.